Good evening, designers, and welcome to the comeback episode of Game of Rugs. This might be like episode 190, but frankly, it's been so fucking long. Who can remember? I would like to thank all of you for bearing with me over the past four weeks. While I have been on hiatus, uh, looking after my adorable spouse, who is now bionic, he has... uh, Everything went really well. He broke his arm. He needed to have surgery. And uh, he did. And he has plates in his arm and screws in his arm. And he's healing really well. So that's great. I'm very relieved about that. I will say the part that did not go well about this whole arm surgery hospitalization thing was the me part, because um, Moira and I went to go collect him from the hospital, and you know, like, there's COVID, so they won't just let you into the hospital. I couldn't go up to his room and collect him. They had to bring him down to the lobby in a wheelchair. So there I am, waiting in the lobby, and uh, the elevator doors open, and out walks my husband, in his, you know, black jacket and his t-shirt and he's all ready to go and he's walking with his nurse and the scrubs and everything and I'm like, hi honey, ready to go? No, not my husband. I literally tried to collect somebody else's husband from the hospital. So uh, that was a, that was something of a matrimonial highlight even for me. Uh, and, and then, and then and then he did arrive several minutes later. I was mortified, but I would also like to say that when uh, the man and the nurse, who turned out to be his wife, not his nurse, walked out of the hospital, Moira also thought that it was my husband and not some other woman's husband. So it actually was not just me. So that was that was a high that was a high point of the entire surgery thing. Uh, there have been other high points. Most of them have not taken place in Design Home because I don't want to rain on anybody else's parade. And if you have really enjoyed the last four weeks of limited editions, I am so happy for you, and I am so glad that that is a thing you have enjoyed. I personally have been in hell. I don't like, I have not liked any of them, and that was reflected in my incredibly shit scores for weeks and weeks and weeks. However, I did log in today and realize that I have like 3 million scores to uh, collect, and so after I'm done sitting here struggling with various shades of white, I will go and collect them because I seem to have been doing quite well accidentally on a 4.79, which is definitely the highest my score has been in like four weeks. Also, I would just like to thank Design Home for acknowledging rugs as a fabric item, because that is literally all I have going on here. I'm just trying to get out of this daily with you know, my dignity intact, really, at this point. How's that? I mean, God forbid there should be a matching end table for the coffee table. We certainly wouldn't want that kind of nonsense going on. Glass lamp, maybe? How about that? Okay. Um, I don't think I have very much other exciting news. I did go to Berlin. It was it was a work thing. It was great. Uh, you know what Berlin has? Public transportation. You know what works really well in Berlin? The public transportation. Um, so that was cool. It's been a while since I successfully took a bus. I mean, obviously I got on the wrong bus going in the wrong direction because uh, I'm an idiot. But other than that, it was great. 
Oh, good. We can get rid of this pillow. This whole black and purple thing is working out well. I mean, I hate this room, but there is a chance that voters might like it. This might be a successful room. In actuality, I am enjoying the opportunity to dump all my black and purple stuff. So that's good. Because, I mean, I realize that it's like a look. But I don't have to like it. And I don't. Okay, so right there I want to put the little gold horse. There we go. Okay. Terrific. All done. Submit design. We'll do some voting. And, and then wrap up. I did want to do rooms with you for a very specific reason. The very specific reason is this. This room, which is one of like seven results I have to collect, is called Spunky and Fresh. Oh, oh good. Oh good, I got a five on this room. Um, Here's the thing you, you may not know, and I can only assume that the people at Design Home also did not know this. Spunk is a British slang term for ejaculate. So I don't want a room that is spunky and fresh. You know what else I really don't want? A spunky children's room. I nearly fucking died died when I saw that but I did my best and apparently my best was good enough to be honest I just kind of gave up at a certain point uh, that that point was when I couldn't get a chair in off white to fill the requirements and the whole thing I was just like ugh, whatever and sent it in but uh, apparently it did the business as we say so that's cool. Um, I just, I can't, just don't, don't refer to things as spunky, specifically children's rooms. The horror, the absolute horror of that. This is a cute room. I love their floor stuff. Did I, was that available to me and I just missed it while I was being bitter and angry? Or is that old limited edition? Oh my God. No, I can buy that. Okay. I'm buying that now. How did I miss that? That is glorious and adorable. I can't believe I got a five using my old limited edition stuff. But I did. So that's nice. Um, no, that's not in the middle of an episode. No. Essence of Paris. I hated this room. It's so ugly. Every entry was ugly. My entry was ugly. Frankly, your entry also was ugly. The design was ugly, the theme was ugly, all the winning entries are ugly, and uh, I, I just, I would prefer to pretend that this entire event never happened. Thank you very much. The Curation of Comfort. Oh, well, that's just nice. I'm on a little roll. I did uh, have, I did have a roll last week, after three weeks of, I cannot tell you how shit my scores were. They were so bad. Uh, they were like 30 points down from where they are now, or 40 points down. And uh, I got five fives in a row. Here's the thing, like, do you ever put rooms together? And you're like, God, I hate this room. I hate everything about it. I hate everything they've given us to decorate it with. I hate everything I just paid good money for, and yet I know that it'll do really well, and voters will like it. This room, this other person's room here, I don't know who you are, LKP, but this, I think, is the best possible rendering of this room that could have been submitted. Also, I will note that she or he did what I did, and... Uh, these level 99 like you get a lot of it you get at least two flavors of this art if not three and it was perfect for this challenge 
and it's not that useful for anything else. There are no rugs that go with it unless except these limited edition rugs. So that turned out to be a happy thing. Unfortunately, the only rug that I like from this limited edition was this rug, which goes with Bupkis. So like, uh, who the, uh, I don't even know anymore. Internationally inspired. Oh my god. Okay. So apparently the way to score well in Design Home is to talk shit about it while you are collecting your scores. I only, I don't remember this room, but I remember that I did it because I wanted this chandelier. I mean, it's very over the top. Yeah, see, for, I just, I didn't like this set, as I keep saying. I didn't like this limited edition, and I hated almost all of the rooms that they gave us. And it turned out that the only thing that I could bring myself to use was this sofa and these chairs and so I just bought them over and over again and I was doing so few rooms that I kept collecting the um, daily prize thing or whatever and I've just been drowning in money this is a surprisingly high score for a room that was absolute trash like I'm embarrassed that I did this room. I'm embarrassed that I'm showing it to you. I'm embarrassed that I submitted it. I'm embarrassed for it. I'm embarrassed for this room that it exists. But mostly, I'm embarrassed that I got a 4.74. I'm embarrassed for all of us. How bad were the other entries that that garbage dump of a room got a 4.74? Like, how bad are these other rooms? You know what? Also pretty bad. Like, not great. It's, it's fine. They're fine. That one's okay. None of these rooms are what you would call good. They all meet the threshold of absolutely fine. Like, I don't think that one even meets the threshold of absolutely fine. But what all of these winning rooms are is better than mine, which is a dumpster fire, like a certified dumpster fire. Oh, my God. Who says shit talking doesn't make you friends? It may not make you friends, but it apparently gets you fucking scores. Um, I did like this room. I was very proud of it. I found this room, this very challenging. And I thought that using this art <clears throat> was inspired. And I also liked that I could buy five of these chairs for, I believe it was like $900. So I felt like a cheap bitch, but a winning bitch. I was not wrong. I, I'm still pretty pleased with the results from this. Also, it allowed me to use um, these swirly pink and blue pots, uh, floor decor things, which, sweet Jesus, are so difficult to use. You basically, once you get them, then spend the next 17 levels just trying to hide them in designs to use them up without, you know, tanking your entire room. I know they look like they're going to be useful. Spoiler alert, they're not. They're just hard to use. Okay, are we almost are we almost done here? Okay. Oh, I loved this room and I am completely fine with the fact that it did not get a 5. I knew that it was not going to when I was submitting it. Even though I will say this might be one of my favorite rooms that I've ever done. I just really, really, really like it. But then again, I love me some neutrals. I love, love neutrals. And uh, I don't want to live in this room because I do not like this much wood. It just gives me 1970s pine fucking everything flashbacks. 
like I think I have PTSD, which is like pine traumatic stress disorder. I will never get over that shit. Uh, and so I don't want to live with it, but it is a very, very pretty room. Also, I appreciate being able to use that coffee table, which I believe I've had for approximately 17 years and never been able to use. In terms of what did win, I do like the variety here a lot. I mean, brave. Like, that's not an attractive color. None of us thinks that's an attractive color. But this designer, Annie, you did a great job using this furniture and putting together something that coordinated really well. I take my hat off to you. I admire that so much. Uh, Naturelli, I can totally see where this designer was going with this design because it's the same place I was going with this design and mine was better. And, but you know what? This game is not fair. Like complaining about the voting? Useless. People are not voting on, it's like we still complain about votes as if people are looking at a room and going, do you know what, this room is a 5, or this room is a 4.7, or this room is a 3.96. People are not looking at your rooms and assigning scores to them. They're just looking at your room and deciding if your room is better or worse than the other room that it's with. This room is not at all to my taste. Really good job using this rug, which I'm not sure I've ever seen, but it may be that because I really hate this color green, I just blocked it out. But what I do love is, um, I'm sorry, what is this? That is very, very sexy room decor. Nice. This room has lots of interesting stuff that I've never seen before. Maybe it's a really old LE, or it might be LE from the week that I took off or something. Who knows? Pretty. I would have chosen a stronger rug than this. Um, but then maybe I wouldn't have scored as well as this person did with that choice. So good for them. Anyway, that was my favorite room of the scores that we just got, even if uh, it didn't get a five. <sighs> Claim prize. Okay, I have a bunch of really ugly rooms coming up. Nobody needs to look at them. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I like. And there wasn't, really. All of the rooms that I personally really liked... We've collected the scores and henceforth, so from this point on, we're gonna t it's just going to tank my average, so that's fine. Okay, so uh, we're going to do some voting. Okay, so like I, there's nothing I really want to change about this room. I don't like it. I think it's going to score fine. Those two things are unrelated always unrelated so let's vote let us vote the best french style living room for a couple in quebec lucky them i would like to live in quebec um neither one of these rooms is tremendous the room on the bottom is not tremendous and doesn't have a rug the room on the top is not tremendous but does have a rug so, like, we're not calling it a game of rugs for nothing. Holy shit. And there is God to smite me because now I feel like I have to vote for the room on the top because it has a fucking rug. But also, it has a lot of ugly. Like, this room does not go together. It's not a dump room, but it's not... Mm. Uh, we're voting for the room on the bottom. And like, just don't tell anybody that we did that. The room on the top is much better than the room on the bottom, which is just weird. Like colors that I myself personally would not put together, yellow and purple. 
weird, like not a thing. The sofa chosen for this room, also spectacularly odd. I don't, f I feel like this sofa probably doesn't look great from the front, let alone the side. Yeah, no. This is just a bunch of weird stuff put together in a room. And also, um, I'm sorry, these trees are really ugly. That's just ugly. That is an ugly tree. Uh, so this whole room is unattractive, and I'm not voting for it. And the room on the top is uh, much better. So we're voting for that. Good job, Allie. Neither one of these rooms is good. Does sage, green, and purple go together? I'm looking at the room on the bottom. No idea. Sage, green, and burgundy from the art go together? Okay. Like, we can make that argument. What we cannot do is make the argument that burgundy and purple go together. Like, that's not a thing. And then the room on the top doesn't have any art, and it doesn't have a rug, and it has uh, both navy and black furniture. No decor. I'm voting these equal because I, I just need to pretend that this never happened. Oh God. Okay, I'm voting for the room on the top, and then can we now have a different room, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, could it also be better? A personal shopper in Trenton, Maine. She's not. She has nowhere to shop except Target. I think that. The, more market research could have gone into this. I'm voting for the room on the top. These are all going to be terrible. Um, neither one of these rooms has anything to distinguish it. I do remember doing this room and the struggle was real. There's no denying that. I, I went for the thing the person on the bottom went for and I bought those two chairs and I did that like super masculine hunting lodge bullshit. So I'm going to vote for the room on the bottom just because I think that person has good taste in chairs. Again, the room on the bottom. No. What is going on with the sofa and the chairs? Why would you do this with the sofa? No. Okay, we're going to have to vote for the room on the top. But it doesn't have any art or daycare. Ugh, we're going to vote them equal. Okay, this game just hates me, and I hate these rooms, so we're going to... The thing is, I really like the choice at the bottom here of this Jonathan Adler sofa, which is like its own thing, its own weird grandma vibe, with these Taylor Burke chairs. Like, that is very... Those are very nice together. That cannot really be said of anything else in this room. But we're going to vote for it anyway. We have enough keys to enter. Thank God. Is this room any better? Nope. Reverse. Reverse. Abort this mission. Okay. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to enter. And enter challenge. And um, off you go, little room. I hope you do well. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Game of Rugs. And specifically for remembering that I exist. And that Game of Rugs exists. We are both very grateful to you. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to become a subscriber, we'd love to have you. Bye now.